The aftermath of the Watts riots still echoes in South Los Angeles today. The flames from those fires did more than just burn buildings. In a sense, they destroyed a way of life. Artist Noel Purifoy watched as his neighborhood burned in 1965. At the time, he ran the art program at the Watts Towers. As the flames subsided, Purifoy ventured out into the charred remains. Where others saw despair, he found inspiration. The junk he collected would become part of his first exhibit and lead him eventually, several years later, to here. This is Joshua Tree, California, the epicenter of a current hipster invasion, and it is also where Noah spent the final 14 years of his life. Priced out of LA and unable to find gallery representation or museums interested in exhibiting his work, he moved to Joshua Tree. His goal in his 70s would be building a museum of his own. Affectionately nicknamed the Junk Dada, Purifoy constructed over two dozen art installations on his 10-acre property all by himself. He sourced materials from flea markets and high desert neighbors, and he worked up until being confined to a wheelchair for the final year of his life. He passed away in 2004, but his museum remains an attraction today. Free to visit, the Noah Purifoy Desert Museum is open from sunrise to sunset 365 days a year. It's a place worth visiting whether you're en route to Coachella or just heading to the desert for a weekend getaway.